the ball has to actually get through you, you can't see the bat. A lot of times, if you're in here on the baseline, the catcher cannot tell how far you are off the bat. You're on third base, you're in scoring position. You don't want to get picked off. You need a run. Game situation, tie ball game, very important as you are on second base. Alright, no outs, one out. Any ball. Well, watch the line drives. That's the reason you're not taking a real big lead. You can always figure instead of taking the three and a half steps, play as far from the bag, or take your lead as far from the bag as the third baseman is away from the bag. Judgment. Okay? You want to, on any time there's a no outs or one out situation, you're taking your lead. And you're told again, watch the line drive. You don't want to have a line drive, bang, you get a double play. It takes you out of an inning. Watch the line drives and you're tagging up on any ball that's hit anywhere in the outfield. Line shots, if it's going right down the line, you're still going to tag up because you know you're going to score anyway. But if they happen to make the catch, you want to tag and you want to score. Provided decent speed, your coach is already informing you what's going on. Out to center field, out to right, and you're going to watch the catch. Now, I'm not particular about which leg is on here. Some like the right, some like the left. I like the a, a nice sprint to start. You're watching, the coach is going to help you. You see the catch, and you go. Full speed, and again, you're going to get help from the uh, on deck batter. Or what to do, whether stay up or slide. Any questions, fellas? How many guys here? I just want to, one, one more little thing. The, uh, suicide squeeze situation. When you're on third, third base, I know in high school and college, you do execute the suicide squeeze. As a runner on third base, the suicide squeeze sign is on. Uh, when would you, as a runner, break for the plate? Just because the pitcher is about to throw the ball. You'd like to have something more definite. Well, uh, once he starts to motion, depending if he's going to wind up once he starts his motion, even that is not something definite. He can quicken his motion. Once his front foot, the righty hits the ground, that's a pretty good indication when to go. Because the hand's right about here at that time. Or it's pretty hard for him, the pitcher, to change the direction of the ball. And if you break too early, the pitcher's going to change the direction Right handed batter up and in. Left handed batter away from him for the most part. Anytime you're up and in, the first move of the batter is to get the heck out of the way. You're not going to be throwing that, but you want to up and in, so if he, the batter is going to try and bunt the ball at all costs, but if he, if he doesn't, then he may make it a pop up on him. Get a double play. That's your pitcher's job right there. He's going to recognize that. If you leave too early, you give the pitcher too much leeway put the ball someplace where uh, the batter is not going to be able to get it back to the ball. Up and then, yeah. Okay, any questions?